Welcome to our lesson on solving a pair of simultaneous equations through substitution. Now what substitution means is we're going to substitute an expression in place of a variable. Here we have two equations, y is equal to x minus 6 and y is a half x minus 4. And you can see the two graphs here. We have a blue line, x minus 6, and a pink line, half x minus 4. And you can see at this point, the two equations are equal to each other. So they share the same x value and the same y value. And because we know that y is x minus 6, we can substitute this y here. So now we can write this as one equation with one variable. So we have x minus 6, which is this y here, is equal to 1 half of x minus 4. And now to solve this equation, we're going to multiply everything by 2. Because when we do this, the half and the 2 will cancel to make 1. So now we have 2x minus 12 is equal to 8 minus 8. And we can take away the x from, from this side. So these will cancel. So x minus 12 will equal negative 8. We'll add the 12 to both sides. These will cancel. So now we're left with x is equal to 4. So where the two lines cross, we know the x value is 4. Now we can work out the y value, which is this value here, by substituting x equals 4 back into either of these equations. I'm going to choose this equation because it's the simplest one. So y is equal to x, which is here, minus 6. So y is equal to negative 2. So here we have the x and the y value. OK, let's try another question. So now we have the equation x plus y minus 3 is 0 and x plus 2y plus 1 is also 0. And we have the two graphs here. So we're going to solve these by substitution and we're going to find the x value and the y value. So I need to begin by writing this equation in terms of x. So we have x is equal to 3 minus y. Now all I'm going to do is substitute this expression for x in place of this one here. So x, which is 3 minus y, plus 2y plus 1 is equal to 0. And now you can see we have one equation with one unknown. We can simplify this by collecting the like terms. So we have 3 plus y plus 1 is equal to 0. So 4 plus y is 0, which means y is negative 4, which is here. Now we can work out the x value by substituting this value of y back into one of the equations. I'm going to choose this equation. So x plus y, which is negative 4, minus 3 is 0. So x is equal to 7. So now there are two solutions. Y is negative 4, and x is 7. OK, let's try one more question. So here we have an exam style question where we've been given the line y is equal to 2x minus 4 and the line L2, 2y is equal to 42 minus x. And we've been asked to work out the coordinate C and then the area of triangle ABC. So we'll begin by substituting this value of y here into this equation here. So we have two lots of y, which is 2x minus 4, is equal to 42 minus x. We'll expand the brackets. So we have 4x minus 8 is equal to 42 minus x. We'll move this negative x to the other side by adding x to both sides. So 5x minus 8 is equal to 42. We'll add 8 to both sides. So 5x is equal to 50. So x is equal to 10. And now we can substitute x equals 10 back into this equation. So we have y is equal to 2 lots of 10 minus 4. y is equal to 16. Where c 
is at 10 and 16. And finally, we can calculate the area of triangle ABC, which is this triangle here. We'll use a formula, a half of a base multiplied by the height. We know the height is 16, which is given by this coordinate. So we need to work out our base. Well, at A, Y is zero. So we can put zero is equal to two lots of X minus four. So X must be equal to two. So this X coordinate here is two. Similarly for B, we know Y is zero. So two lots of Y is still zero. It's 42 minus X. So X must be equal to 42. So the base of our triangle is the difference between these two X values, which is 40. So now we can work out the area, which is one half of the base multiplied by the height, which gives us an area of 320 units squared. Okay, thank you for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.